Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It is Friday. TJIF Friday. Happy Friday. Whatever gets you to the end of the week. I hope you had a good one. Um, it feels like a really long week, but a really short week at the same time. Oh my goodness, it's taken us... Well, we're still exhausted, so I don't know. It didn't feel like we were running the candle at both ends while we were away but who knows anyway it's art crawl day today and i'm uh, really glad i got a chance to sneak this in before i go it's uh 20 after 9 so i'm gonna be pulling the car in the driveway soon and filling it up leather bag lady weather report it's supposed to rain so 40 percent chance I don't know. I don't know. I did actually think about not bothering, but I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta earn some money. I got paid today and it was, it was a little wee paycheck. So I gotta get out there. So anyway, today's bag is another one of those uh, messenger book bags, school bags, work bags that I came across yesterday. But this one is really cool. It is a real Y2K juicy couture retro little offering it's really cute it's um like a beige velour juicy couture these little roses are all leather they could do with a bit of a steam they're starting to curl up at the edges but it's really cute there's your leather juicy tab all the trim is leather all the trim on the straps are leather and the zipper pulls, which are really cute. So this one has nothing on it. It used to have rhinestones on it. This one has two left. This one is gone. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. I kind of like it. There's your juicy on the end. Just quality, quality, quality stuff. Your strap comes on and off. It's a 23 inch strap drop. Um, you've got a slip pocket, a zipper, and then inside you've got padded sides. And there is a little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. There's a couple of little marks down the bottom. There and there. So again, just full disclosure. Here's your juicy. Now, this is how I was told to decide whether or not your juicy is authentic see this little label sticking out if the tab opens up and this little ticket is not inside there it is it's not authentic so i don't know how 100 percent true that is but certainly it is how i have made sure and there's a leather gusset on the bottom it's how i've decided whether juicy is authentic or not um, couture computer so it's a laptop bag but uh, again you know we're middle of July or almost middle of July that September back to school uh, deadline is going to come screaming up on us as it always does every year so if you or somebody in your world would like to look a little stylish um, going back to school these are great great uh, options to be just a little out there a little different from the pack and um, I really like this one <laughs> huh. all right well it's listed I just listed it so um, we'll see we'll see so a couple of other things today um, did I mention to you that I was putting a suede bag in the washing machine? I think I did. So what day would it have been? Tuesday, I went to Ancaster to visit my uh, lady who used to work, who, who I used to look after when I worked at the retirement home. I went thrifting afterwards. I picked up two bags only. And this was one of them. Look at this funky, funky it's like a baby pink suede now was it filthy dirty no it wasn't 
it still does have a little bit of darkening in the corners here, but nothing close to what it was. I put this in the washing machine. I put spray and wash on the uh, damaged areas, and I thought, you know what? I paid eight bucks for it or something. If, uh, if I ruined it, I ruined it, but I didn't. I mean, you can still see the pile. So what I did was I just put it in the wash, I took it out, and I hung it to dry, and then I brushed it and it really there are still a couple of little dark areas and I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet it's um it's by Margo which is a great brand really do like the brand and just the fringes seems I'm a bit of a biker babe these days I don't know I might keep this one but I just wanted to show you that, you know what, I'm not afraid to put thing. I mean, if I paid $30, $40 for it, would I be putting in the washing machine? Hell no. But I wanted to try it. That, you know, just some of the high points here had probably color transfer is more of what the issue was. And this is a good, you can't even really see it. The zipper pull is quite dark and I haven't really been able to do anything with that. So... Just, you know what? You don't have to baby some of this stuff as much as you think. I, I'm so thrilled that the pile is still visible. But you can see there is a little bit of darkening there. But I'm not mad at it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And there was something else I wanted to show. Oh, I know what it was. I mentioned it the other day. This is the um, Jane Shelton uh, kind of tote that I found after I found the crossbody bag that is exactly the same. Now that one has sold, but um, this one I had to do a bit of a repair on the strap. So, I mean, I've got it pretty loaded up. I had to re-dye the corners. Um, it's wearing okay, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one. Cause as you know, if you've been following me, I do have a collection of Jane Shilton. So I probably will keep this because it's a little different than what I've got. Um, I've got a lot of 60s stuff, whereas I think this is more 80s. And uh, the leather, oh, it is so luxurious. But I just want to let you know that I was using it. So that's that's this month's bag. Um, what else? Is there anything else I wanted to share with you? Uh, art crawl, as I mentioned already, Leather Bag Lady Weather Report. 40% chance of rain today all afternoon. Pius says that that's negligible. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll bring my tarps and um, hopefully it won't happen. And um, hopefully there won't be as many crazies there. Oh, that's stuff hanging out. Uh, yeah, hopefully it won't be as many crazies. There was some real wingdings there last month and the police were there and there was this crazy guy standing behind me. I didn't even know he was there. And uh, Pius had his eye on him. He was uh, keeping watch. I've never really had that before where somebody was had my back like that. So it's really kind of cool. Um, he's not a big guy, but he's small but mighty. So um, anyway, looking forward to having a good day. Hopefully there'll be lots of sales happening. I never really know what to take. So... You know, it's up and down. It'll be a long day. Uh, I'll be there 9.30 now. A couple of hours from now, I'll be there setting up. And we'll be finishing 10, 10.30 because we're up early in the morning for a charity ride um, with the bike. And uh, then the rest of the weekend, who knows? Might be going to look at a pool table on Sunday. Bit of a pool shark is my pious, and I would love to learn. So, um you never know. It might be a winter uh, project in the basement to, um, not here at Pius' house, uh, to learn how to play pool. I started to learn a few years ago, and it's all angles, and it's really quite interesting. So it's something that it was kind of on my bucket list, kind of, sort of. Darts as well. I can't see well enough to shoot darts. Shooting a gun, which I did in Nova Scotia, I shot a uh, 22 and a Magnum 357, I think it was. I only did one bullet with that. But I hit the mark. I hit the mark. 
We were kind of even Steven, Mr. Military Man, but um, hasn't shot a gun in a long, 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 long time, but it was really cool. So that being said, I hope you're all going to have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather. It's supposed to be beautiful all weekend. Just today's going to be a little wobbly. So I'm trying to decide. I'm going to probably go to the grocery store and pick up a sandwich for the day. I have to be very careful because there's no uh, washrooms. So you're kind of, you know, deking in and out of coffee shops and things like that and trying to sneak in and use the washroom. So I don't want to be too, um, you know, just too out there with that, you know, kind of overstepping the mark too much. But anyway, everybody, so that's our bag for today. It's listed. I've just listed it. Once I've uploaded the video, I will attach that. Um, Instagram, it's on uh, my Instagram reels. I seem to be doing more of those these days than just the regular posting. And that is about it, I think. So have a great weekend, everybody. And I will talk to you on Monday. Bye.